Father Pirelli, the king of the barbers, the barber of kings, I want John of the day. I blow you a kiss. And I, that's a famous Pirelli, I wish it to know who has the lover to say. My elixir is peace. Who says it is? Indeed, a fine race. Instruments like these, once seen, cannot be soon forgotten. You weigh disease against five pounds. I do. <laughs> he is a foolish man. Watch and see how he shall regret his folly. Five pounds it is. <laughs> the fastest and the shade is the winner. <laughs> Now, signorini, signori, we mix it a ladder, but first, you gather around, signorini, signori, you looking a man who have had the glory to share with the pup, Mrs. Sweeney. However, I beg of your pardon, who probably say it was only a cardinal nun. It was the pup. <laughs> to shave the face, to pull the tooth, required the grace, and not the boot. For if you asleep, you nick the skin, you crib the chin, you rip the lip of it, and that's the truth. To shave the face, or even a part, without the smart, required a heart. It takes it out. I'll show you a chart. I study a starting in my youth. To cut the hair, to trim the beard, to make the bristle clean like a whistle. This is from early infancy, the talent gave to me by God. He take out a skin, he take out a brain, he take out a wheel to take out a pain, he take out a piece, he take out a grace. The winner is tall. Mr. Todd, and you, Bellissima Signorina. Yeah, how'd you do, Signor? I'm sure. A little business with Mr. Todd, Signora. If you give the permission. Oh, yeah, yeah. Indeed, I'll just, I'll just pop down to my pies. Now, look, oh, looks. Look at it. Look at it. Don't look like it's had a kind word since half past. Never. What would you say, son, to a nice juicy meat pie, eh? Your teeth is really strong, I hope. But yes, mum, yes, yes! <laughs> Mr. Doug. Senor Pirelli. Oh, call me Danny. Danny Lou Higgins the name when it's not professional. <laughs> well, it's not much, but I'm sure you're prettied up a bit. I'd like me five quid back if you don't mind. Why? That's my boy talking. But to hold me over till your customers start coming. Then it'll be half your profits you'll hand over to me every week on a Friday. Share and share alike. All right, Mr. Benjamin Barker. Why do you call me that? At least you've got a nice full head of hair on ya. Well, to tell you the truth, Mum, it gets awful hot. Ugh. Uh. <laughs> you don't remember me, do you? Why should you? I was just a down and out Irish lad you hired here for a couple of weeks, sweeping up hair and such like. Ah. But I remember these. And you, Benjamin Barker. I to transport it to Botany Bay for life. So, Mr. Todd, is it a deal or do I run down the street for me, pal, the Beetle Bamford? You think are you smart? You foolish a boy. Tomorrow you start in my employ. You understand? You like my plan. Oh.